Hello guys, good afternoon. I can I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> anyway, good afternoon, guys. Um, welcome to COVID Warriors Corner. Let's talk with Ella Hidalgo. Um, is so, uh, so I'm I'm having a problem with my technicalities, but and thank you for supporting COVID Warriors Corner here in London, UK. So we created this group in 2020 when the pandemic started to give joy, to give light, and to give love to everyone, especially during this time. So this is a tribute to all the frontliners out there, especially, of course, those um, Pinoy nurses, um, health workers, 
and um, everyone who's on frontline here in United Kingdom. So thank you so much for um, supporting, guys. We have 3,800 members here in COVID Warriors Corner. And thank you so lot po ng sumuporta sa amin since um, day one to all the our were um to all the artists, the celebrities that who joined us here in COVID Warriors Corner, not only here in Let's Talk with Ella Hidalgo, but also in other shows like um, with Joker Diva, their Joker Diva with Randy Silverio. We have um, Request Corner by Catherine Alberto. We have the um, Let's Cook with Chef Michaela this afternoon, um, 5 p.m. And of course, um, meron tayong singing sensation ni Papa Labas, which is to support and to help out our displaced singers, Filipino displaced singers around the world. Because we all know, guys, na ang isa sa mga industriya na tinamaan ng mabigat is ang entertainment. So we're trying to help them out by having the singing sensation season two. We had our um, original song composition last year as well um, to help out our composers around the world. Ayan. So today, guys, um, I ha we have a special guest, not only our two um, singing sensation contestants, but also one of um, isang batikang artista sa Pilipinas. Um, kilalang kilala nyo siya, guys. Um, uh, so, panoorin nyo guys kung sino yung mga guests ko this afternoon. And please do bear with me because uh, medyo, ayan, nagkakaroon po tayo ng mga technical problems right now. I'm, I'm also having difficulty here in with the Wi-Fi. So, ayan. So, here it is. So ayan guys, our little presentation sa mga special guests natin this afternoon. I, I hope na maraming excited dyan, um, most especially sa mga um, nakapanood ng mga movies ng um, bisita natin ngayon dito sa COVID Wars Corner. And one of them is yung si Kuya Rodel actually. Um, um, shout out sa mga admins ng COVID Wars Corner, Rodel Saikon, Randy Silverio, Catherine Alberto, Weiwei Ramos, and of course, Chef Michaela Atay. And Kuya Rodel... He always watched your movie before and he actually told me one of your movies is Kokak. Ayan. So let's all welcome guys on the stream. She boom and of course, Kokak um, Miss Rachel Lobanco. Hi, good afternoon, Hello. Ella. Good afternoon to you and good evening here in Bangkok and good evening in the Philippines. Welcome to Thailand. <laughs> And it's Ayan. so nice to be here in your guest, uh, COVID Warriors Corner. And so let's talk with Ella. Thank you for Thank having you me. Thank you so much for, for your time as well. Um, well, hindi kayo nagdalawang isip para mag-guest dito sa COVID Warriors Corner, which of is course. a great tribute to the frontliners. Yeah. Ayan. Kumusta naman po dyan sa Thailand? How's the situation in Thailand in, um, in terms of the cases of COVID-19? Uh, as of the moment, uh, medyo pabalik uli kami sa soft lockdown. Uh, for a while, two weeks kami na nag-open na ulit yung mga restaurants, di ba? Pero hindi pa rin bukas yung mga gyms. But tomorrow, ayan, mag-start na naman na i-close uli yung mga restaurants because medyo tumataas kami. And today, ang new cases namin parang nasa 4,000. 4,000 wow. new cases. Yes. So medyo mataas. Yes. But for a while, nung nag-start ang pandemic, we were like zero COVID ng 10 months until nag-start nag -start lang ang COVID dito ng December. Tapos nag-third mm. wave kami nung April 21. So it's been two months of soft lockdown. So walang gym. Uh, tapos 20% uh, lang ang mga bukas sa, sa, mga, sa capacity ng mga restaurants. But for a while, mga one month kaming walang mga rest, you know, dine-in, ganun. 
urus. Yeah. I, I think is it is it because uh, you um, food, you're, so in you eating, yep. yeah, you're in Bangkok. Yeah, you're in Bangkok because I mean Bangkok is one of the tourist place, diba, in around the world. Um, hindi po ba sila yeah. sarado ng border nila dyan sa Bangkok? Actually, sarado ang borders since nag-start ang pandemic. So you will see nga na talagang walang foreigners dito. Nagkataon lang, okay. naipit lang talaga kami dito. Kasi when, nung nag-start yung pandemic, nung nag-start ang COVID sa Pilipinas, nung the day one na nag-lockdown sa Philippines, that was the day that we flew here. That was March 16. Uh, March 16 of uh, yeah last last year. Diba? Nung nag-start mm-hmm. yung pandemic. So, it's been a year and a half na kami nandito. <laughs> Ganun na kami katagal. Diba? Uh, one year, kung baga, to be exact, is one year and four months. Ganun. Okay. So, so, you're not really basically based in Thailand. Parang naipit lang ba kayo ng pandemic? That's why you're in Thailand right actually, now? Actually, hindi talaga kami based. Ang based dito yung mom ko. She goes home here every twice, twice a month. So, we, she mm-hmm. just went here to visit the place and Apparently, we we actually went with her to visit the our, this apartment, di ba? But then again, no nag lockdown na sa Pilipinas, nag dire direcho na after two weeks dito naman nag lockdown. And I actually went here to learn how to cook Thai cuisine. Kasi magbubukas na ako na restaurant sa EP Farm, sa so, like, wedding destination namin sa Tagaytay. So mm. ayon, medyo hindi namin na uh, ituloy yung dream namin to, to of dream ko to study so sabi ko baka pandemic siguro baka makalimutan ko din yung knowledge so might as well mag-aral lang ako later since wala well, namang anong face to face na situation going on sa mga classes dito right now mm-hmm. yeah, yeah i know there's i mean um i do hope that you know this pandemic will soon be over kasi nga marami talagang naapektuhan hindi lang of course hindi lang sa entertainment uh, halos lahat yeah. tayo affected. Yeah. I know we have a well, job very, here. Like, yeah, my very yes. biggest wish is actually sana magkaroon na kami ng vaccine. Kasi uh, it's so hard oh. to, di ba? To, so to wala pa dyan sa Thailand ng vaccination? Well, kasi nag-start sila ng vaccination in July 7. Uh, sorry, hmm. June 7. And then July, Ju- June 14, almost ubus na lahat ng vaccine. So, wala pang isang linggo na ubusan na. So, siguro hindi nila in-expect na number one, ang mga tayo magpa-vaccinate. Number two, mm-hmm. hindi nila in-expect na tataas din talaga dito. So, Cases, siguro yung stock so. ng, ng vaccine dito is not enough para sa mga mga nasa Thailand. Especially, they made it clear for a while na pag non-Thai citizen ka, hindi ka pa eligible for for the vaccine. Hindi ka, mm-hmm. hindi ka pa pwedeng magkaroon, ma- ma-avail. Unlike in the Philippines, talagang it's kind of easy to have your vaccine there. Kaya nga medyo yeah. nag-isip kami kung uuwi ba kami or we'll have it here. But it's so hard kasi kung itatawid ko yung mom ko, Ella, kasi it's mm. so hard if you are with a senior it's, citizen. And diba, you know what I very mean? Risky. Na parang, oh, oh, very risky. Oo, very risky. You don't mm-hmm. wanna risk that. Kung kami lang na anak ko, kasi nandito sa Thailand yan, ako, anak ko, at saka mami ko, Kung hindi ko kasama, mami ko, madaling tumawid. Eh. But I'm, of course, I'm not gonna live here alone here in this house, di ba? Parang, uh, kung hindi din makakapasok yung, yung nani namin to take care of her here, kasi sarado pang ang borders, then I don't wanna go home yet. Di ba? If Uh-oh. I go, I wanna make sure that she's with me. Di ba? That's true. And I, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really it's really difficult to travel right now. Like for us here in the yeah. UK, uh, especially for us for um, we're British citizens na dito. We don't we're not really allowed yeah. to go home to the Philippines. So parang nakalungkot. It's depressing. <laughs> that's why I can, and that's why I'm, that's why right now like it's weekend. I just decided to um get out of London while I'm off. Yeah, here because if you if you go out, hindi ka na makakabalik eh. Wala kaming reentry. Mm. It's only my mom who has that re-entry situation kasi meron siyang, ano, uh, what's this, you know, what is that? Her uh, retirement visa. So, which is kami ni Leona, tourist lang kasi kami. Mm-hmm. So, nire-renew lang kami ng nire-renew ng, 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 ng Thai, government. government. You, you know, they've been so nice to us naman, hindi kami pinapahirapan sa, sa visas namin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and din sa, sa sa Thailand, um, do they wear masks as well? Or yeah, sa, uh, actually, face shield? When nag-start ng pandemic dito, wala pang ang gaanong uh, corona, nakikita mo mm-hmm. ang mga Thai, napaka-disiplinado nila. Talaga as in wala silang lahat naka ano talaga, naka-mask. Some are wearing uh what's shield, but 
the truth is nakakagulat kasi makikita mo yung mga overly populated places dito like in Pataya or in in Phuket talagang it's a dead city lalo na yung mga areas with a lot of tourists yung di ba yung yung famous walk nila sa sa Pataya or sa sa Phuket Mm-mm. Ano yun, Ella, it's so empty. Talagang ma-off ka na parang, wow, is this really happening? Talagang it doesn't look the same anymore. But of course, the beaches, you, yeah, you can enjoy. Yeah, because I saw your, your post like you recently went to Pattaya for uh, for a yeah. holiday. Yeah, we went the next staycation kami. And mm-hmm. actually, ang mura ng mga hotels dito ngayon. So this is really the best time for the locals to, to enjoy the vacation. But medyo paranoid pa rin kami to actually stay with the crowd kasi syempre kahit sabihin mo na na hindi naman ganun kalala dito unlike in the Philippines Oo. parang nakakatakot pa rin i-risk yung mom ko di ba so ingat That's ingat true, pa rin yeah. talaga Mm. You know. shout out lang muna tayo Miss Rachel. Um those who are watching right. right now. We have Christopher Just Noel Callis. Um he lives here in in UK. So, okay. I, I don't know Sawadi Kara. I don't know what's, Sawadi, what's this Kara, know. Christopher. That means uh, hello or good morning. It's a it's, ah, it's, it's, it's way of saying uh gre- greeting you. Sawadi ka. Oh wow. Yeah. I didn't know that Christopher speaks um Thai. <laughs> and of course it says here happy Sunday Miss um Lovely Ellen Miss Shibum walang kupas Miss Lovely Rachel and all CW Mabuhay from Belfast Ooh, Scotland. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you Kuya Rudy. <laughs> and of course my dad is watching. Leon Hidalgo is watching. Oh, my hi. dad always watch in La Union. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yes. And of course, I don't see the names, so I am. So I am. So, pag-usapan naman po natin, like um, when you um, yung una po niyo yung commercial is actually the Shibum Shibum. The Shibum commercial. Actually, yeah, I've done so several how, commercials how, also. Yeah. yeah Aside so, from um, Shibum, I, uh, I did a lot of commercials. Yeah. yeah, yung Shibum lang talaga yung nagboom ng todo, kaya dun ako nakilala. And then uh, I I started doing movies nga, and then I was launched in that movie named Kokak. <laughs> I don't know everybody if everybody knows that movie, you know. Yeah. So, actually, talking see, about Coca Cola, I've seen that. I, I have this. Uh, yeah, the Coca yeah. <laughs> Dub Challenge. So, so kasi naman mahilig jan sa mag TikTok. Sana naman uh, mag join ka ng uh, Coca Dub Challenge. It's fun. So there's gonna be uh, this uh, really short uh, drama nagawa ko with Gabi na ita dub nyo. So sana naman mag join ka. I'm inviting everyone. For this challenge, it's fun. <laughs> Ayan, so yeah, join kay sa TikTok po ni Miss Rachel um the Coca. I I've seen it. Yeah. Um, and you have prizes <laughs> as well, right? Sa mga mananalo. Yeah, may manakalist doon kung, kung uh, ano mga prizes namin. And actually, uh, we're gonna end our entries na inintay until June 2 lang. So, so kung makakapagpadal na kayo ng entry, so much the better. And let's just have fun doing this challenge. Ang saya kaya, every night, every time I watch those people na nagpapadala sa akin ng mga videos nila, nakakaaliw, di ba? Kasi parang they're doing it better than I did pa. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, in, in so, costume. So, I think po yun. You're, you're you're really they the people know you um because of the shibum and the kokak. Do they call you um kokak as yeah. well whenever they see you or out there? Yeah, Ella, so actually sometimes they forget my name. They forget my name. They know me as kokak. They know me as shibum. <laughs> Imagine mo yun. Nakakalimutan nila na uh, ang real name ko Rachel. Sometimes they even call me as Lani, yung kapatid ko. Tapo. <laughs> So it's are you yeah. are you still um active in show business right now um Miss Rachel? Well, actually hindi ako hindi talaga ako ma- maging active. Uh, but before I left, active ako sa fire dancing ko and I was also working for my mom. Uh like what I said, I'm working sa skincare namin. Uh my mom kasi has this uh, line, she's a dermatologist and she's into skin whitening. Kahit po maitim ako, <laughs> ang mami ko po ay bantog sa pagpapuputi ng skin ng mga Pilipino. So, yun, nakafocus ako dun sa business niya and also yung wedding destination namin sa Tagaytay. But aside from that, you know, kapag nakakapag-sideline ako sa mga photo shoots, ganun, sa mga shows, yun yung way ko of uh, showing my art my artistry but majority mm-hmm. of the time i work with the family and i also i also saw that you're a painter as well yes i, I think as well you know, i've seen your artworks 
Yeah, si Lani ang medyo masipag mag-paint mula nag-start yun ng pandemic. Ako medyo natigil kasi wala dito yung workshop ko. It's so hard to 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 stuff. But what I'm active actually is uh, my martial arts. Since I moved mm-hmm. here in in Thailand, um, nakafocus ako ng bongga sa sa Muay Thai because in Manila, I really I am really active as a martial artist. I do I do jiu-jitsu, wow. I do boxing, Uh-oh. and then Muay Thai. But since Muay, Muay Thai in Thailand is the best since the the sport is from here, na napafocus mm-hmm. talaga ako ng bongga sa sa sport. And I think I'm a better player i cannot say fighter because i don't want to fight naman talaga sa ring <laughs> ayoko naman talaga mag-compete i just want to be yeah, perfect so, yeah so you're also a fitness enthusiast so is that the way you maintain your sexy body kasi nga di ba you i always see the video and uh, ang talagang yeah. talagang walang kupas you're still very sexy <laughs> po <laughs> so Actually, how do you kasi know, that Sexy, um, yun kasi Ella ang way of having fun ko eh. if there are girls na ang having fun nila is shopping or or drinking or smoking ako uh, smoke uh, smoking and drinking is not my thing sports is really my addiction and dun talaga ako nakakakita ng pure happiness pag nakaindulge ako sa sports and I really wanna see myself in all kinds because all for the past uh, how many years like seven seven sorry uh, I lived in Boracay for seven years but I, I was doing dragon boat races for 13 years of my life. So when I finally moved to Manila, kasi di ba nag, nagkaroon ng closure din sa Boracay nung pina I used me President Duterte ang Boracay. That's when I start living with my mom, and that's when I focused on martial arts. And now I'm still very much active doing body combat sports. Yeah, I think it, it takes a lot of like um, motivation to do physical activities. Yeah, totoo yan, totoo yan, Ella. Medyo mahirap talaga. Dapat talaga ikaw ang... Mm. Um, you don't need anyone to motivate you or to inspire you to to do all this uh, diba, intense workout. Dapat sa'yo talaga nang gagaling. Yeah. I really wanna share my... Uh, my uh, my fitness journey to everyone because gusto kong ma-realize ng mga babae on, on all ages, whether you're young or or old or even older, na sports is not um, you can you can do sports even kung ilan taon ka na. Age shouldn't uh, stop you from from choosing the kind of sports that you wanna involve in. Like ako lately na lately yeah. na lang ako talaga na tutum mag martial arts. Siguro mga three years palang and sana ginawa ko yan di ba when I was younger no kaidad ko yung ano ko but hindi ako natakot mag mag try because for me uh, being in the martial arts world uh, at least may hindi na kong uh, self defense since there's no man in the house. Lahat kami babae. Mm-hmm. Si Leona. So, ako yung lumalabas na lalaki sa bahay. So, for safety, maganda din siguro may alam ako sa martial arts. Oo. Kasi we, we tried here in COVID Warriors Corner, we put a, like a fitness section and no one wants to attend. I think the first or second session, may mga nag-attend pa. And, oh. and then later on, wala na. Yung, so, yung fitness instructor na Filipino um, din siya. Um, she was like, uh, sabi niya, bakit mga Filipinos, they don't like um, joining in physical activities. Yeah. But they they take it a lot. <laughs> Kasi yeah, yun yung take for granted ng iba eh. Yung akala nila, uh, just taking care of yourself, sleeping mm-hmm. long, or eating the right uh, kind of food is fitness. Actually, no. Uh, working out and diba, exercising is very important sa, sa health nyo. Hindi na, nga, hindi na nga para lang pumayat ka kasi majority of the people na nag-work out, iniisip nila it's just for losing weight. Hindi po pang losing weight. Ako kasi medyo malaki pa rin ako sa size ko. I'm not that, I mean, I'm sure nakikita mo medyo I, may laman pa ako. So, hindi talaga just for losing weight sa akin ang working out. It's it's actually for health reason talaga. Para para hindi ka naman, di ba? Alam mo naman ang health benefits talaga ng working out. Eh. It's really good for you, good for your heart, good for your for your system, di ba? That's true. So, yeah. At least man lang kung medyo talaga hindi ka na involved every day, at least twice, thrice a week is okay. Sana, di ba? Sana in my own little way sharing my fitness journey in my Facebook, IG or TikTok. Sana naman kahit paano meron naman ako na inspire. Diba? Yeah, especially during the pandemic kasi nga diba halos um I think a lot of people like work at home and then yung mga yes. iba talagang nasa bahay lang so I think physical activities are worth it 
Yeah, tsaka alam mo, alam mo, kasi nung nag-pandemic, madaming na law siya ngayon. Ang feeling nila, nasa bahay na lang kami, di ba? Actually, oh. ang dami mong pwedeng gawin sa bahay, di ba? But housework is not a kind of... Kailangan mo talaga yung... yung Di ba, mag-warm up yung body mo, kumabog yung dibdib mo para, para to build that, uh, di ba, that cardio that you need. Yun ang kailangan mo talaga. So, ako kasi, ang liit-liit nga ng condo namin pag nalalockdown ako dito, makikita mo ako, nag-workout ako sa balcony namin where I do my laundry. Ang liit ng space na yun, Ella, pero pinagkakasya ko yung sarili ko because I promise myself that I need uh, exercise every day. And siguro, uh-huh. when everybody's sleeping at 7 a.m., gising na talaga ako to do my workout. So, wow. I promise myself at least two hours a day of solid cardio, di ba? Uh, ibaburn ko yung kinain ko the day before. At least yun man lang yung mm-hmm. goal ko. Hindi ka naman gusto magkaroon ng sobrang ma- mag- malalaking muscle. Ang sa akin lang, I just wanna enjoy eating. I, I, I watch what I eat, but I cannot control the amount of food that I take, di ba? So, course, what I do yeah. is I try to burn it na lang, yeah. you know, Ko na especially day. nga po, especially Filipinos yeah. love eating rice. Um, I don't know yeah. with you, kasi yun daw yung napansin <laughs> ng mga, mga ibang lahi dito. Uh, Filipinos eat rice in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero they yeah, don't I like don't to do uh, like exercises. Hindi, tsaka Ella, di ba, lately natututo nga tayo maglutong lahat. So, ang tendency, kumain ka na marami kasi you enjoyed yung, ano mo, yung, yung sarili mong cooking, di ba? And ganun din na nangyari sa akin, di ba? So, I wanna make sure na, okay, if I wanna eat, uh, I wanna eat plenty, then I, I would wanna work out same amount of uh, what I ate the day before. <laughs> Parang ganun, yeah. di ba? You know, so... May comment dito sa akin. Masarap yummy food sa Thailand. I don't know yeah. who's, who's this from. Kasi hindi ko nakikita yung mga pangalan. But um, yeah. I haven't Pero been to actually, Thailand. But that's one place I want to to visit one day. Ay, hindi mo ba nakarating dito? Ha? Hindi pa po. Oh, it's no. beautiful here. I love the the culture. And ibang-iba talaga. Ibang-iba talaga sa Thailand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should I've been to South Korea, here. but not Thailand. Yeah, yet. I love Korea also, but Thailand has a different flavor. You you must uh, visit us soon. Pag tapos na pandemic, Ella. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so um with with your um during the pandemic, you're 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 doing your physical, of course, your um exercises and fitness and any other um ano pa po yung mga pinagkakabalahan nyo during did you learn how to bake or you've been baking before or cooking? Well, Kasi marami yeah. nang ganyan ngayon, di ba? No, Ella, sobrang punong-puno ka din kasi ang schedule ko. I, I actually, nung nag-start ang pandemic, uh, hindi ko in-expect na hindi namin maipapasok yung nani namin dito. So, wala kaming housemaid. Mm. So, I learned how to do everything on my own. And this is the the kind of things that I, I haven't done in, in Manila. I mean, I, I, hindi ko talaga ginagawa yung maglaba, <laughs> magluto, maghugas ng plato, maglinis ng bahay, mag, magwater ng plants, <laughs> maggrocery on my own, carrying all these big groceries, di ba? These are something so new to me na nung first few months medyo, oops, my body's hurting, hindi ko hindi ko kaya ginagawa ako. Sometimes nade-depress ako. But I, I realized that um, pandemic is very important to be with your family. And there's no way really? I'm going to give up being with them just because nahihirapan ako sa house chores. And if I accept it and embrace it, the idea na, yeah, I'm taking care of my family, then doon ako naging happy when I told myself na mami ko naman ang pinagsisilbihan ko or anak ko naman ang pinagsisilbihan ko. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Di ba? So yun, yun ang yeah. kakaibang but- nangyari. So, yeah, I think there's so, still I'm so I'm so glamorous, diba? It is, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think there's still uh, positive sides out of this pandemic. Kaya po nasabi ninyo is um family bonding. We were able, you yeah. were able, I mean, wala akong family dito, but <laughs> a lot of 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 um people like they they had their uh, family bonding, naging yeah. uh, stronger talaga yung bond nila as a family during the pandemic. And um with with this pandemic po, um what are the lessons that you've learned? that you can share to the the people out there right now? Well, number one, as yun nga, a family is very important. Yun ang talagang, uh, yun ang talagang binigay sa akin ng pandemic ngayon. Talagang, yun ang, 
very special gift that pandemic gave me that I got closer to my mom and I got closer to my do- daughter even more. I'm already close to them but this time naging solid talaga kami. And yun talaga ang naging priority ko sa buhay ngayon, yung yung mabuhay at maging healthy. Na sometimes nakalimutan ko na era yung yung material na bagay. The truth is oh, madami kami na iwanan sa Manila material na dito nag nasa isang masikip na condo kami pero we we learn to be happy kahit maliit lang ang ang surroundings namin siguro yung napakalaking tinuro sa akin ng pandemic na, na napakaganda naman but of course i really miss going home i really miss manila uh, just like you yeah. i'm sure ganun ka rin and i'm just so blessed that i'm with my yes, family very kasi iba talaga yung kasama ko sila eh. Diba? Siguro that's why I'm not complaining that much kasi kasama ko sila. So hindi ko ma-imagine kung naipit ako ng pandemya na mag-isa or wala yung anak ko, diba? O wala yung mami ko. Mahirap yun. So, diba? So, yun. Parang sana ganun din na nangyayari sa iba. Sana na-appreciate na lang nila yung, yung things na hindi nangyayari before. Yung makasama natin, yung family natin ng ganito ka-solid. And hindi naman tatagal tong pandemic na to eh. It will, it will Hopefully, matatapos yeah. din to. So, let's just enjoy the bond. Let's just enjoy the love that we have at home. And, uh, and yun ang gusto kong i-share sa inyo na it can happen if if you want na di ba na okay mag-board you're in a safe place you're at home <laughs> diba? that's true yeah i i wish nga um as as a nurse i i'm like it's just a joke because i was like a working um last friday i was like telling my co my colleague i was telling her like i wish nurses can work at home <laughs> yeah actually believe na believe ako sa inyo ella Bilib na bilib ako sa mga frontliners and I really want to congratulate you guys and thank you for helping Alamay. everyone risking your lives you know kaya talaga ang heroes ng pandemic uh, galing-galing nyo rin, di ba? Uh, hindi ko din alam kung paano, oh, garo kahirap ang pinagdadaanan nyo, but I'm sure ang hirap kasi bukod sa malayo kayo sa family, naka, hinaharap nyo yung napakabigat na problema ng pandemic. And thank you. Yeah. Uh, I wanna thank you for that, Ella. Thank you for your share sa, sa di ba, sa gulo ng pandemic at isa kayo sa kumaplansya ng problema. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Especially for those who really, really work in ITU, sila yung talagang um, face-to-face talaga. But still, we still don't know kung sino talagang carers sa mga, mga namimit namin sa hospital. So oh, it's really, diba? really um, scary. Uh, and meron tayong message dito sabi, wow, Lodi, Rachel Lobanco. Kanino ka din yan? Oh. Uh, it's actually <laughs> Armand de la Rosa. Ayan. <laughs> Armand. <Hi there. laughs> actually, yeah. I actually read the message. Um, one comment sa post ko before na ginagaya daw niya yung hair hairstyle mo before oh yeah oh the sun gumagawa ng uh, coca uh, dub tiktok challenge nakakatuwa kasi pati yung buhok gayang gay <laughs> gayang gay na mga gumagawa di ba yung mga waves and di ba yung long hair na parang na kuryente sa na sobrang kakatis nakakatuwa naman i mean nakilala kasi ako ella as long hair eh. parang mm-hmm. hindi ko ma imagine mm-hmm. if i cut my hair it's been always like this you know yeah <laughs> ang daming gumagaya sa sa tiktok mga katuwa so, kaya nga and with of course like you mentioned about your sister um did you influence her to go on show business or sa reading decision niya actually she got offers you know mm. she, she yeah aside from my the offer uh, the offers that i got during my time she then nagkaroon so alam mo yun magkaiba kami ng 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 mundong kinalawan. So, I'm happy for her also na madami din siyang nagawa sa industriya and na share. But yun, but she's, she's very happy now as a mom of uh, of three. And, you know, hindi na siya mahilig sa social media na kagaya ko. Ako naman kasi para... So, wala na sa ano kumalit ng showbiz. Diba? <laughs> I honestly think na kahit na sa social media, sana makapag-share ako ng love and support and inspiration sa mga... Of course. Ko, diba? yeah. And I hope na ganang effect. Mga patuwa yung mga TikTok nyo. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Actually, maliit yeah. na contribution yun, Ella. But I alam ko, sa hirap mm. ng negative situation going on around, alam ko napapasmile ko ang karamihan kapag napapanood nila ang mga TikTok videos ko. At least masabi yeah. man lang nila na, ayan si Rachel, kahit pandemic, di ba, hindi siya nalolo siya or she's still doing her, di ba, her fitness routine. Di ba, malaking bagay na sa akin na ako nga din, sa, sana pag ganyang edad ako, ganyan din na itsura ko. <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Kaya nga, so, yeah. I mean, 
Um, what what advices you can give to um to our viewers out there, especially sa mga women, na paano maging katulad ng isang Rachel Lobanco, di ba? So, do you well, have any actually, advices? <laughs> actually, you just have to be really confident about yourself. Kasi if you honestly think that I'm sexy, I'm really not. May mas, may mas sexy at mas magandang shape pa rin sa akin. Nagkataon lang, mas confident lang siguro talaga ako sa sarili ko, di ba? I uh, just continue doing that and fitness plays a big role of my confidence level. Yan ang nagbibigay talaga sa akin ng, ng parang, di ba, push in my back na to be confident, Ella. Yung iba eh, iba yung binibigay sa'yo ng fitness talaga. So, when you know that you're healthy in and out, di ba, parang, parang malaking bagay yan sa personality mo. And, and like what I said nga, don't, don't let pandemic, you know, pull your, your, your motivated situation down. Yeah. Dapat, kahit paano, kahit alam mo, wala kang gym, kasi ako, wala na naman akong gym, it's been two months na hindi ako nakaka-gym. Dito lang talaga ako sa bahay. Yung daughter ko, Nag-jump rope dito sa bedroom na <laughs> every day. And siguro lahat ng mga YouTube videos sinusundan namin dalawang mag-ina, 'di ba? Ko ano yung makita namin. And actually, it's 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 very convenient kasi you don't have to drive yourself to the gym or 'di ba? Dito lang sa bahay nakapag-workout ka na. After your workout, you can start cooking already. Yeah. I mean, 'di ba? And of course, it's still not safe to go to the gym. I mean, in my own op- I I used yeah. to go to the gym but I stopped because you know they people sweats in uh, in the gym yeah. as well. Ni natin alam kung ano yung essential talaga ng equipment. Eh. Yeah, kung sino talagang meron, mahingahan ka lang ng iba oh, para oh, mm-hmm. sa bahay. Parang hindi naman safe para sa kasambahay mo din. So, di ba? So, do do the things that you used to do even when you're indoors. Yun lang advice ko sa iba, di ba? And huwag kayong bibitaw sa fitness. Importante yan sa atin, di ba? We have to stay healthy right now sa pandemic. Yun lang ang panlaban natin. I- ayos natin ang immune system natin. Let's try not to sleep late kasi majority ng iba nagsa social media until inuumaga i mean give yourself diba a deadline i'm sleeping at 10 o'clock because i'm working out at 7 a.m. diba yung ganun kasi That's ganun ako cool. diba wow. you really yeah. have a discipline i wish i can be like that discipline <laughs> But I but I tend to sleep early when I'm working the next day. Yeah, I'm sure you're busy ka rin kasi di ba frontliner nga kayo, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> And what what can you give um advices naman sa mga tao na in terms of this um pandemic? Well, kasi marami pa yung mga hindi naniniwala that there's a virus and they don't believe in the vaccine that this will end the the pandemic. So, what yeah. can you say, what advices you can you give to them po? Hindi din naman natin talaga makokontrol yung iniisip ng iba, Ella. Eh. Kasi for a while, nagkaganyan din ako. Uh, may mga days na takot ako sa vaccine. May mga days na gustong-gusto ko magpaka- magka-vaccine. So, mm-hmm. nakikinig ka ng news na iba ang mentality mo parate. Na iba yung timpla ng utak mo parate. Na noong mga panahon na may lumabas na vaccine, sabi ko, sige, mauna muna sila. Tingnan muna natin kung ano effect. Baka magka-zombie. Baka magka-zombie, di ba? Through the diba? vaccine. Ito, yeah, 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 yeah. Ako ng vaccine. Ako naman itong gigil na gigil magpa-vaccine. So, <laughs> di ba? So, I just do the normal practice like washing my hands, putting alcohol in my mm. hands, and doing my, you know, social distancing, staying home all the time. My God, it's a really hard job. But, you know, I'm really just staying home lately. Parating ganon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, any message to our frontliners out there, uh, Miss Rachel? Ay, mga frontliners, kayo ang mga heroes ng buhay ng mga tao ngayon. And th- we would like to thank you guys for, you know, for being our heroes, you know. Ang laking-laking bagay nyo sa, sa pangyayari ng pandemic ngayon and sa lakas ng loob, sa, sa binibigay nyo yung buhay. Yung sarili niyong buhay para sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat po. I cannot thank you more than enough sa sa brave sa napaka-brave na situation na sinusugod niyo para sa amin. Sana po huwag kayong bibigay and try to stay healthy. Alam ko it's not an easy job but uh, we're praying for you guys and sana lagi kayo nandiyan para sa amin. Huwag po kayong bibitaw. We love yes. you all. 
Thank you so much, Miss Rachel. I do hope that I can meet you um, in the Philippines or in Thailand. Yes, or you can, you can come here in UK as well. <laughs> yeah, I want to go there and visit you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Contact go us um, when you're here. Hopefully, uh, when everything is okay with this pandemic and mag open na yung yeah. mga borders. Yeah. And Ella, thank, thank you so much you. for the chance. Thank you so much for putting me on your show. And more power. This uh, show is actually helping everyone. Madami ka na-inspire continue mo lang tong uh, uh, show mo, More Power, and uh, sana bigyan ka pa ni Lord ng napakaraming energy para i-spread mo ang okay. love sa uh, 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 di ba, frontliners natin. Yes, thank you so much and stay safe Jen, regards to the, your family and uh, stay safe. God bless po, Miss Rachel. Yeah, stay safe Jen and God bless and thank you so much, Ella. And UK, thank you so much for watching. Bye po. Okay, bye bye. Ayan po si uh, Miss Rachel Lobanco, of course, um, one of our famous um, actresses in the Philippines. And um, I would like to introduce, guys, um, our uh, contestants, two of our contestants in a singing sensation. But beforehand, I'm going to play this for everyone. Ayan, so that's our singing sensation. And um, before I'll introduce our guest, I would like to um, give you a song, guys. I normally sing, but I forgot to sing. Because <laughs> I, had, I had a technical problem earlier. I <laughs> ba guys. Can you hear me? Please do. Um, please say. Please say if you can hear me. Um, and um, please do let me know if you can hear the music. So this is just a song for everyone. Um, I hope that you'll have a smile in your hearts during this pandemic. Please let me know, guys, if you can hear my music and my voice. Because I'm, I'm waiting for my other guest as well. Um, she's not still on this the backstage. I'm one of our singing sensations. She keeps on in and out like Okay, someone says, um, I, I'm heard. So this song is for everyone, guys. Ay, parang malit po yung version pala. <laughs> Ayan. Pag nag ng mga technical problems, parang nalilito ako. <laughs> Ayan, guys. Please do um, stay put. I'm live here in Bournemouth, UK. I had a feeling that you're holding my hand And I know that it is true You wouldn't let it be broken apart Cause it's much too dear to you Forever we'll be together No one can break us apart for a love will truly be a wonderful smile in your heart when the night comes and i'm deep in your arms how i feel so much secure you wouldn't let me close my eyes so i can see you through and through you're a sweet and a lover We are so much in love I'm not afraid when you're far away Just give me a smile in your heart 
You broaden my day, you're showing me my direction. You're coming to me and giving me inspiration. How could I ask for more from you, my dear? Maybe just a smile in your heart. I'm always dreaming of being in love But now I know that this is true Since you came into my life It's true love that I had found I pray that you wouldn't leave me Whatever may come along but if you do, I would feel so bad Just give me a smile in your heart You brighten my day, you're showing me my direction Welcoming your way and giving me inspiration How could I ask for more from you, my dear? Maybe just a smile in your, maybe just a smile in your heart. You brighten my day, you're showing me my direction. You're coming to me and giving me inspiration. How could I ask for more from you, my dear? Maybe just a smile in your heart. Maybe just a smile in your heart. Yes. I hope that you have all the smiles in your heart, guys, despite of this pandemic. And of course, again, I don't see my other guests, but I have um one at the backstage. So we have one of our um contestants in singing sensation. Um, our ayan, hindi na narinig yung music, but anyway. <laughs> sabi sabi din sa, sa, sa comment section they they heard it, but ayan. So um our our singing sensation, of course, our grand prize winner will be fifty thousand pesos in cash, cold cash. <laughs> Cold talaga, no? Galing kasi galing sa UK, kayo lamig. Ayan. So our singing sensation will be um, 50,000 pesos. And of course, um, we have two nights. Parang na nabiblak ko nga ngayon. Two nights and three days stay in a luxury hotel or resort in the Philippines. Um, courtesy, of course, of um, AA, um, Travel and Tours. Um, Ali Hajj. So this is um, one of, isa dito sa mga hotels na to ang magbibigay ng stay. <laughs> Ayan, guys. So, isa sa kanila magbibigay ng um, two nights and uh, three days stay in a luxury hotel with two people and breakfast. And of course, um, we have a vocal training um, scholarship with Professor Renato Hebron. Siya po yung nag-train um, nag sa Fourth Impact. Sila yung grupo na pumunta dito sa UK para... And they they competed for the X Factor. And so one of our our um singing sensation contenders at the backstage, I can see her now. Let's all welcome, guys, Miss Kimi... Valoy, I don't know how to pronounce your surname. Can you just <laughs> nakamute, nakamute ka? 
Yeah. Hello, good evening, po. Ella. How do you and pronounce your surname? It's Valo Valois, po. Valois. Yeah. Ah, talaga Valois. Yes. Ah, dito kasi pag ganyan may S, Baloy. <laughs> yeah. Hindi <laughs> na Hindi pa hindi na na pronounce yung S. Okay. Ayun. So kumusta naman diyan sa where, where are you based right now? Um Kimi. Nasa Laguna po ako ngayon. Mm -mm. Laguna, so, Bami po. So how's how's the situation there in Laguna? Um parang medyo normal naman na po siya, hindi na po masyadong mahigpit. Mm -mm. So, Kasi, ano, di ba meron kayo yung, yung ano, general, uh, hindi ko ma, yung mga ICQ, mga ganun. So, nasa, nasa ang part na kayo ng, ng quarantine. Are you like GCQ. general? A uh, GCQ. Yeah. So, general community quarantine, which is you're allowed to go out na. Ah, uh, yes po. Mm. So, um, May mga may mga events na rin ba nangyayari diyan sa sa Philippines right now like I can I can see some post but then diyan sa Laguna um, nag-open up na ba yung mga events and gigs diyan? Um uh, meron naman po mga nag-open na ano mga uh, events place niya pero yung iba po close pa po siguro para makaiwas sa mga ano virus ganyan. Limited lang po pero madami na din pong na bukas. Okay. And then ever since um yung are you are you just um singing in the Philippines or may iba ka pang job? Uh, as of now yun pa lang po as uh, a streamer on sessions live. Mm -hmm. Kasi po uh, isa din din po ako sa mga nawalan ng trabaho nung nagka-pandemic. So do you work do you work in a, an office or uh, I work program. as a uh, promo girl on uh, SM po uh, in Bulacan. Ah, see. S tapos biglang nagsarada di ba yung mga malls because of okay. this um this pandemic? Yes po. Oh, and then of course, um, ayan, balikan kita and then we're gonna, I'm gonna put you back together with our other candidate, contestants ng Singing Sensation. So, ayan. I'll, oh, nawala na naman siya. <laughs> I, don't, I think there's something wrong with the internet connection ni, ni Lovely. On and off. On and off siya ngayon. But anyway, ayan. So why did you choose to join the... Are, have you been joining the singing singing um, competitions um, before pa? Uh, yes po, pero uh, first time ko po kasi maka-encounter yun sa true online po. Mm, talaga? Uh, Opo. Oh, Ano po? Marami ko marami ako nakikita mga online competitions um since the pandemic started. Opo, pero eto lang po si parang ngayon lang din po nagka-confidence simula nung naging streamer sa Sessions Live. Ano uh -huh. lang po ng confidence sumali sa mga yung sa online po. So that dati parang nahihiya ka ba or natatakot to join? Ang weird po pero uh, sa online po parang mas parang mas na kinabahan po ako pero before po sumasali po ako sa contest yung sa provincial level uh -oh. mga ganun sa school base po siya ganyan tapos ano po inter barangay din Hindi ko po alam kung bakit kinakabahan ako nung sa online. <laughs> well, hindi ba po wala, hindi mo naman nakikita pag online. So parang eh, So parang much better kasi hindi mo nakikita yung audience mo. Hindi mo nakikita yung mga mga facial expressions ng mga tao na nanonood sa iyo. <laughs> yes po. Ayan. I I can see I can see lovely and I'll I'll put her back. I'll put her on the stream. Um, bago siya mawala. <laughs> Ayan, let's not come on the stream. Lovely address ito to. Hello. Hello. Kumusta naman Hello ang um, you're your base in Leyte, right? Um, lovely. Para oh. magina ata yung internet connection ni Lovely ngayon. Hello. Hindi ko po masyadong, ano, hello? Hindi ko po masyadong marinig yung boses niyo po, ma'am. Ayan, sabi ko, um, you're based in Leyte, right? 
Yes po. So kumusta yes, ang po. kumusta naman ang sitwasyon diyan sa Leyte in terms of the COVID? Uh, so far po dito po sa Leyte, um hindi naman po siya masyadong ganoon talaga kalala. Okay lang naman po kasi hindi po masyad, masyadong mataas yung cases sa Leyte. Kasi siguro mababait din yung mga tao dito. <laughs> Pa, ma, ay, marunong sulang marunong silang sunod. Ayan, yan ang maganda, di ba? Masunurin talaga. Kung sinabi ni Kim Chu na bawal lumabas, bawal talagang lumabas. Ano po yun? Ay, di yan narinig. Hindi ko masyadong marinig. Hindi <laughs> narinig yung joke ko. Ganun. Sabi ko nung sinabi ni Kim Chu na bawal lumabas. So, lahat ng mga tagalete, hindi na lumabas, ganun. Parang naging robot po yung boses niyo, madam. Ay, kaloka. Hindi ko alam kung anong nangyayari ngayon. So, <laughs> na-virus ata itong mga connections natin sa mga V8 and internet connections. Narinig mo ba ako, Kimi? Yes po, malinaw naman po. Sa internet malinaw na malinaw. Po, yeah. ah, baka internet. nga, baka yung internet connection ni Lovely. <laughs> Ayan. So lovely, um, bakit ka nag-decide na mag-join ng singing sensation? Have you been joining singing competitions before? Hindi niya ako naririnig. <laughs> Baka kailangan mong, meron ba, meron ba nanonood dyan ngayon? Sabihin niya sa'yo kung ano yung sinasabi ko dito. <laughs> Ah, nangalumbob. <laughs> Yan nga. Ayun. po talaga paano ba to? Did you did you ever join the singing sensation uh, singing contest competition before? Yes. Po. Ah, wala talaga, wala. <laughs> May naririnig ako. Hindi <laughs> lang talaga. Wala, wala. Hindi po talaga kasi stable yung internet dito, dito sa pwesto ko. Ay, kailangan I'll maging stable yan po. pag pumasok ka ng pwede. <laughs> pag pumasok ka I'll ng... I'll try my ng... best po, Madam Ella. Sa susunod po. Ahanap ako ng... Malakas na internet. <laughs> Ayan. Siguro pakinggan na lang natin yung kanta ni Lovely habang kasi hindi niya akong napapakinggan. So maybe she can sing a song. Try yes, muna natin siya. Okay. Ayan po guys, pakinggan natin si Lovely and Restituto sa kanyang mga awitin. Oh, if you have two songs, continue singing the two songs. Okay. Sige po. Wake up the Oh, oh, in the And 
Is bringing me up to die. Finally, I can see your wisdom. Go ahead and tell me I don't need all of your support. Every piece of you don't make me what I think that I would do. I started in my heart. Reaching up to the pitch and bringing me up to die. Stars of your love remind me of us. They keep me thinking of me almost had to go. The stars of your love, they We could have had it all. Oh, oh, rolling in the deep. Oh, you have my heart. Of your hand, they did to the beat. Yeah. We could have had it. Oh, 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 you had my heart inside of your hand, and to play it to the beat. Yeah, check this out. Huh? Mga galapay ng lulupit ng mga propeta, pili ko kinakasya. Dala ko ng mga kargada, o paputunay, ninading ng mga galaw sa mga salita. Hindi mo matapagalan ng mga babala, ito ang simula, yo. Ha! Parang sakit ako, may kirap, pinabal ka, katunggal ni Maloy, kumukulubot, print. Kakamalit na ako, pinaga, abangan ng mga talata. Sa mga meditawan ko, ang liri ko, di mo talaga makakahinan dito. Bitaman na mga salita, pari mga galaw, katagatagan na makalakas, pinapakalubit, ang katutan, pinamahas. Ladies and gentlemen, Throw your soul through every open door You can't show blood Ano nangyari? Nawala siya. Wait, wait, wait. Ayan. Wait, 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 guys. Ayan, Kimi. Um, can you... Do... Nawala si Lovely. Why na po yung internet? Kaya nga. Ayan. So, are you ready for your songs? Ah oh, yes po. Ayan sige. Um ayan guys, let's all welcome guys on the stream uh, Miss Kimi Baluis. Thank you so much po for having me here. I'm gonna sing I'll always love you by Nina. So just tell me po if you are hearing any music. Mm. Standing by my window Listening for your call Seems I really miss you after all Time won't let me keep 
this letter to myself I just like to let you know I wish I never let you go and I'll always love you deep inside this heart of mine I do love you and I'll always need you and if you ever change your mind I still I will love you Wish you never left me with us a mystery. You can break a heart so easily. The days and nights reveal how much I feel for you. Time has gone for me to see how much your love has meant to me. And I'll always love you. And if you ever change your mind, I'll still, I will love you. Time like a river keeps on rolling right on by Nothing left for me to do So I wash the river rise And I'll always love you Deep inside this heart of mine, I do love you, and I'll always need you, and if you ever change your mind, I still, I will, I still, I will love you. And, and that was I'll Always Love You by Nina. And for my next song, I'm going to sing River by Bishop Briggs. How do we fall in love? Hotter than a good could hit you. How do we fall apart? Faster than a hairpin trigger. Don't you say, don't you say it. Don't say, don't you say it. One red, you'll just break it. So shut your mouth and run me like a river. Shut your mouth and stand there. Shut your mouth and run me like a river. Choke this love till the face starts to shiver. Won't last for us till the tears start to wither. Like a river, like a river. Shut your mouth and run me like a river. Tales of an endless heart. Cursed is the fool who's willing Can't change the way we are Walk his way from killing Don't you say, don't you say it Don't say, don't you say it One red, you just break it 
So shut your mouth and run me like a river. Shut your mouth, baby, send and deliver. Holy hands, you're gonna make me a sinner. Like a river, like a river. Shut your mouth and run me like a river. Shut this love till the pain starts to shiver. Wonderful. Sabi lang nila ni daw marini gata yung yung music. Pero but we we heard your voice very loud and um, very lovely. Ayan, napakaganda ng boses ni Kim. Kim, and of course, um, what do you expect sa sing sensation natin? So, um, uh, expect ko po na marami pong magagaling. Pero I will do my very best, Chapman, to prove you na. And deserving po ako sa spot na yun. Pero syempre, enjoy lang po dun sa contest na yan. Yeah. And of course, um, may mga preparations ka bang ginagawa um, before this? Um, para, I mean, before ka sumabak sa live battle natin? Uh, bali, uh, pag nag stream po ako dun sa sessions live, parang dun na lang din po ako nagpa-practice ng mga ano. Kasi, um tinitipid ko po yung boses ko. Yung, hindi po laging all out yung bigay mm-hmm. kasi madali po magasgas din. Mahirap po kapag doon pa po sa mismong battle magkaroon ng aberya sa lalamunan. Hindi na po mababalik yun. Yeah, I, nag- manami ako nakikita next session ang uh, mga contestants din. Um, they do like four to five hours per session. Yes. Opo. Grabe. Parang <laughs> Sagaran, di ba? Parang, I don't know, yeah, it's like, hopefully, hopefully, like, um, when when the battle comes, lumabas yung boses nila. <laughs> okay. Ayan. And would you like to invite everyone to support you here in Singing Sensation? And of course, yung meron kang video um, sa YouTube, di ba, for, for the um, most views. Ayan. Yes. Ayan. Please do support me uh, on Sessions Live, sessionslive.com slash Kimi Valois, yan po. Uh, I stream on every uh, ma MWF uh, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. po. Ayan, and please do uh, watch my video on YouTube on COVID Warriors Corner po. Nandun po yung entry ko. <laughs> Thank you so much po na ag- agad sa mga magso-support. Ayan. Ayan. Thank you so much, Kimi. And do you have any um, message sa mga frontliners out there? Ayan. Para po sa mga frontliners, uh, you are really a hero po sa ating era. Maraming maraming walang katapusan pong pagpapasalamat sa pag-aalaga, sa pag, uh, pagsuko sa pandemyang ito. Mahirap po yung trabaho nyo pero kinakaya nyo kahit malayo po kayo sa pamilya. Ayan. Alam po ni God and mahal po kayo ni Lord. And um, God bless you all po and stay safe. Ayan, alagaan lang din po ang sarili. Huwag pababayaan po. 
Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat, Kimi, for joining me here um, in uh, Let's Talk with Ella Hidalgo, COVID Wars Corner. And I do hope to see you in the live battle. So we're still waiting for our, the results from our judges kung sinong papasok sa live battle natin. So good luck sa sa'yo and all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay so safe dyan sa Philippines. Thank you po. Bye. Ayan guys, so we have Miss Rachel Lobanco and of course si Kimi Valois. I'm still waiting for my um last guest from USA. He just messaged me. Um he told me that um uh, yeah, I actually see him right now. Um before I'll introduce you guys, my last guest, I would like to say hello. I like to to thank all our sponsors. We have of course Davao Navarro um of the Film Life. We have um RM Lechon here in London. Um, we have Juliet Simapula, Vibrant Stockies, um, Patches of Davao. Uh, we have um, Feli Alflen of the Filipino Style Peanuts in Texas, in USA. We have um, Infinity, again, by, of course, um, Mr. F um, Freddy uh, Larocco. We have the Stardom Music <clears throat> and Arts Learning Studio in San Fernando, La Union. We have the RDL of Davao and of course the Diva Divo Vintage House, San Fernando City, London City Market. And we have pledges from Bernard Ray. Um, we have Charles Docherty, um, Vilma Paikan, and hopefully lahat po na kinausap namin mag-sponsors. Please do sponsor us here in Singing Sensation. It's it's a good cause, guys, because we're helping out our Filipino singers out there who lost their job as singers. So let's all welcome, guys. I'm going to introduce to you one of our YouTube sensation. Of course, um, he, he's he been... um. He, oh, he's also a composer and he collaborated with a lot of Filipino artists um, in the Philippines. So live from USA, Mr. David Demuzio. Hey, what's up? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, nice How, to see you. Yeah, where are you based right now, David? In Nashville, Tennessee. Tell so how's the situation there in um, in terms of this um, COVID pandemic? I think everyone's kind of done uh, done with it. Like, yeah, for better or worse, I think definitely um, no one cares anymore. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so everything is <laughs> really just just back to like normal, honestly. To here, <laughs> yeah, like everything's <laughs> we're back. Used to it already that we don't care if, uh, about this yeah, COVID. Yeah, nobody wears masks uh, anywhere for sure. Um, yeah, everybody goes out. Like all of the all of the bars are packed. All of the shows are packed. All the events are packed. Um, they're wow. having like so you're big, back to normal. Yeah, it's there really just it really is just back to normal. Yeah, to totally mm. just back to normal. The, all of the big for events us here, and conferences and stuff. Are yeah, for on. for us here in London, they actually um, extended our lockdown. We're supposed to be they're supposed to be lifting totally. I mean, in London, in UK, they're supposed to be lifting totally the lockdown last twenty first on last twenty first of uh -huh. June, but then they're extending it for four weeks. Wow. So yes, so we're yeah. waiting that um we'll have you know to have everything back to normal here in London. So how's the situation yeah. of the vaccine? Have you had your vaccine? I mean yourself? Yeah, I, I did. I already had COVID too as well. So and then I I got the vaccine too. So, um, mm -hmm. but and honestly, COVID wasn't really that bad for me. It was really um kind of like a minor cold, basically. You know, most yeah. colds most colds that I get are honestly worse than COVID was for me as far as like an annoyance so uh yeah it wasn't that bad yeah i think you have a stronger um immune system compared to to the to others who really suffered um badly with this covid so yeah and different you know, strains i think of it maybe too mm -hmm. so yeah yeah and i know i think that the new variant which is the um delta variant it's it's so quick to transfer the tra transmission is quick but then it goes so quickly as well when you've got the the, the virus wow. i think that's that's what i've noticed because i've got friends like who had it and then after a few days they're okay oh wow so yes yeah and of course um let's talk about your your singing you you've you've been known as um a youtuber a youtube sensation when did you start um doing your YouTube? I think about 10 years ago, maybe 11 years ago, about 11 years ago or so, yeah. And you've, you've gained a lot of followers, of course, especially from the Filipino Filipinos, because um, how are you related to the Filipino community? Are you married to a Filipina or are you? 
No, uh, well, I'm part Filipino, about like like a, Are I you? guess about maybe like an eighth Filipino. Yeah, so I'm just like a little bit, <laughs> but I grew up. My best friend was Filipino in the U.S. and I, yeah, always wanted to visit. And then I ended up uh, going there and living for a few years. And I might go back and live again. But uh, but yeah, you know, developed tons of friendships while I was there. Mm -hmm. And it's really the Philippines is like my you know, I could say home or second home or whatever. Uh, I don't even feel like necessarily second home as much as like, um, because to me, like the US and the Philippines, like, they're both places that I feel pretty equally comfortable and equally at home. I probably have more friends in the Philippines, honestly, um, like very close friends. So yeah, yeah, there's just another home for me really at this mm -hmm. point, you know? Because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot, I've seen your videos. Um, you've collaborated with a lot of Filipino artists as well in the Philippines. Yep. And actually, one of our contestants, I've saw, I've seen that you collaborated with her because we have this singing sensation here in COVID Wars Corner to help out the Filipino singers out out there during this pandemic. And I've mm. seen one of our contestants collaborated with you, but Who's I'm that? not gonna mention the name. <laughs> oh, really? Why not? Um, I just just to give let's because. You know, like uh, other contestants might think that we're um, giving um, favoritism or something like that. But, but oh, anyway, okay. yeah. So, I'd like so to know what... who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, it's favoritism, so... right? <laughs> Trust yeah, me, collaborating with like... me is not going to help you that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, like, um, so who is the most uh, memorable, memorable, memorable artist that you've collaborated with in in the Philippines? Of uh, the one who's competing uh, here. On this show, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I've seen you collaborated with um the um like um Yasmin Pressman as well. Yasi Pressman, yeah, um yeah, we Yasi and I did a lot of videos together, a lot of collaborations mm -hmm. together. Um, who would be the most memorable? Wow, I don't know. They're all like memorable in their own ways. Um, it was definitely a big deal when I recorded a song with Yang Constantino because I've I was a big oh, fan wow, of her for great. many years. Yeah. yeah. So that was, um, yeah, that was probably like, I mean, she's probably the most popular artist singer that I've, you know, recorded and released mm -hmm. a, a song with, a music video with and everything. So maybe her. And you also translated one of her songs into English, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then also How It Come I, I also did an English translation version of that. And uh, yeah, we performed that together on ASAP on ASAP. Mm -hmm. and that was, so that was super cool. And now when she performs that song live, she often will like include um, a little bit of my English lyrics in her performance, which is pretty cool. So I guess she likes it. So why did you decide to um, like collaborate with various Filipino artists? Why? Um, I mean, I just I just work with people who I'm fans of. So yeah that's that's really it you know i just was a fan of these different artists and whether they were known or not known i just thought that they were really talented and they were like inspired me i guess and i like working with people who inspire me because mm -hmm. and you'll probably notice like on youtube most of my videos are collaborations um yes and yeah yeah, the thing is, I just like doing things with other people more than I like doing things by myself. <laughs> it's like um, I'm more motivated to work mm -hmm. when it's somebody else. When like I know somebody is coming over and like we've got to do this thing and I've got to learn this thing and I, um, I've got to get it done so like they know it's done. And I don't know. Yeah, I, I like work harder and I'm more inspired when I'm working with somebody else. And also they teach me a lot, you know. Like it makes me want to be a better singer working with somebody like my friend Sam Malobot. Um, he's like one of the best singers I've ever met in my life. And like every time I work with him, um, it makes me want to be a better singer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. And of course, like um, you've been singing Filipino songs as well. So um, why did you choose Filipino songs rather than singing other, um, other music in another country? Well, I mean, I was living in the Philippines. What? Yeah, what so, is it in? I was it. What is it in Filipino music? What is it in Filipino music that me? Well, there's a lot of really cool things about Filipino music that are unique to Filipino music. I think every kind of music has, well, every sort of kind of evolved culture of music has its own unique styles, right? And the Philippines yeah. has that too. 
so it's it's like it's varied depending on the genre of music within the Philippines because every Filipino music genre has its own sort of things, you know. So like like the traditional OPM, the more mm -hmm. like uh, Vinny Satorno, Jimmy Borja, those those songwriters, um, the uh, Ryan Kabyab, yeah, uh, like those kind of like more classic like. 70s 80s or 90s kind of early 90s opm i would say maybe 80s 90s uh kind of opm that has this sort of like epic romance mm -hmm. sort of feeling to it and you still have songs like that to come out now too but they're like a song like uh what would be a song uh that would be that reminded me of that like uh well the christmas song like sanangayong pasco right it's uh something like that where it's it's kind of yeah it's kind of this very Dini traditional Borja. yeah like very traditional sound to it mm -hmm. you know or like uh sinong abasha something like that you know the, the sarah bernamo song like something like that um uh, they they have this very particular sound and a certain certain style of using chords and melodies um, so that was interesting to me to learn those kind of songs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Or, yeah, like Moli, that song. I think uh, Vinny Satorno wrote that song, Moli. That... Moli yeah. But it's got this very, like, flowing. It's like very... It's like, like that... Da 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 It's like that that kind of like this feeling, the way which is yeah. It's not it's not very it's not like this. There are songs in the, in American music that that sort of do that, but it's not yeah. like a particular style. Like what's funny is actually the songs that are in American music that do that. They're like really popular, often the Philippines. So I think they're the ones that sort of were gravitated to. Like, there's a mm -hmm. song that Nioi Volante performs all the time. This James Ingram song, that like really sounds like that. Do you know James Ingram? That song. What's that really big hit that he had? I'm gonna look it up. But it's like a huge, huge hit in the Philippines, and like in James the, Ingram. Yeah, and in the U.S., I it's not a song that I really. Uh huh. I really listen to very much. Oh, just once, can just we stop find the love? No, no, yeah. no, just once. Yeah, yeah just yeah. once, just yeah. once. Yeah. So like, that's mm -hmm. a song that has this kind of like, that kind of like almost like an OPM feeling to it. That's like an American song, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but even so, yeah, Filipino Filipino music like OPM, it has a very particular kind of sound. And then like you've got uh, other kind of. Yeah, but I would say that those kind of like that Filipino music was partly influenced by like that kind of like 80s R&B thing, you know, like that James Ingram thing. Right. And then um, you've got like the rock stuff, which has different variants in the Philippines. Um, like I, I would say one one of class of that would be like the eraser heads sort of yeah. like River Maya, sort of like that grungy rock period. Mm -hmm which has a very particular sound to it also. And like a lot of it's, I feel like, like definitely with River Maya, were influenced by like new wave kind of stuff. And it doesn't really sound like American music, you know? Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really. Yeah. It's got this sort of like this grungy experimental side to it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like and you also song, compose yeah. songs, right, David? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I write songs. So that's why songs. That's why I find this interesting. I don't know, studying mm -hmm. and learning these people's songs because it inspires me to write different mm -hmm. kinds of songs, you know? Like, I, I wrote this song, this, this Taglish song, and it was definitely influenced by River Maya, by Rico, actually, particularly, like, Rico Blanco and his solo music kind of style. So, um, how did that go, even? Yeah, so it, it's called I'll Do Anything Para Sayo. And so I could even kind of sing it like Rico Blanco sings in English. It's like, <laughs> I want to explain myself to you. You're not talking to me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not telling you to hear me out. And share your common ground. All of, all of us make mistakes. So like that, like that, those 
couple lines, that's like nice, kind yeah. of the way that he sings. Mm-hmm. I want to explain myself to you. He sings with this kind of like lazy, like almost a little bit of an English accent kind of thing. I don't know. Have it's you ever actually, noticed that? Actually, very nice though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Like. Tell me something. So it seems like music, Filipino music, has become your Tell inspiration as well in writing songs. Sometimes, yeah. Not not every song that I write, but like definitely it becomes like part of my musical vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, like that, like uh, your universe. Tell me something when the wind falls in your face. Like it's got that kind of like Englishy accent, lazy thing mm-hmm. that he does. You know? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And also, David, you prepared two songs for us, or is it one or two songs that you're going to sing for us? Uh, sure. Yeah. I, I think either way is probably good. Um, yeah. So, um, so let's, guys, let's hear it from Mr. David DiMuzio. Okay, cool. I'll do this, uh, this English version of, um, I'm going to do a, like a taglish of this, uh, of Kahit Mapati Namburoko. Flowers every spring, they won't believe us. I'll say I just got lucky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That you took my hand to hold, give you my heart and soul every day as the years unfold. I promise I. We keep dreaming matchup you, you can see your second song on david all right second song hmm let me think what i want to do for a second song oh i'll do the song that i wrote for my daughter yeah all right i just recently wrote this song um yeah Yeah. 
He'll always see fear with me now Wrapped in our bubble of love You made a world full of rainbows When you smiled, you started filling it up Your kiss reminds me of a best friend Showing up at a party when you're feeling out of place Your hug reminds me that dying would be really sad If you don't get to see the people that you love again And you're my favorite dream You're my favorite dream You're my favorite dream Dream girl I'm thankful for your great grandparents And the time that they made love Under the willow tree Cause that brought you here to me Thankful for that Korean soldier Who didn't have the guts To make your wounded grandpa rest in peace I know you take my hand You'll just take my hand One more time And I know you will How can I be so sure That part of my heart is yours And you're my favorite dream You're my favorite dream You're my favorite dream Dream girl You're my Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me on. Those Ella. are wonderful songs, um, especially the song for your daughter. So oh, you only have you. one um, one child at the moment. I have right? I have two daughters. Yeah, another oh, one was just, just born three months ago. Wow! Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I like being a girl dad. It's really fun. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and of course, um, do you have any social media that you want to promote here, um, David? Sure. Yeah, you can just look up my name, David Demuzio. I think it's on the screen. And you can look me up on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, Instagram. It's all at David Demuzio, basically at all of those places. So I'd love for you to subscribe to my uh, to my YouTube channel or, yeah, um, add me on Facebook. And I try to respond to as many messages and comments and stuff as I can, um, which is quite a lot. I do my best. To, I like connecting with people. You know, that's kind of why I do music. So I try and, uh, and do that via comments and things like that, too. So, uh, yeah, and thank you very much. I'm seeing your comments on the screen. You're most welcome. Thanks for having me on. It's, su it's like early in the morning. I literally just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, um, I, was, so, just, uh, I was telling myself, like, maybe you forgot you forgot it already, and then you just, you're still sleeping. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I had the time wrong, actually. So, well, I, I, I knew it was 9 a.m., but I didn't, I wasn't thinking 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I mixed that up in my mind. So I'm sorry about that. Because here, here it's uh, it's 8 a.m. is 9 a.m. there. So I woke up at like, oh, eight, uh, yeah, I woke up at like 8.15 and I was like, oh, or 8.10 or so. And I was like, oops, whoops. I guess I'm a couple minutes late. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Um. Anyway, do you, do you have any, Um. Um. are you working on any project at the moment? Or oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff, Uh. I'll, like a new album. 
uh, a lot of materials almost done for that. And then my friend uh, Sam Mangobat, who I uh, mentioned earlier, he just recorded a song of mine and we produced it together. It's called What Do I Do With a Broken Heart? And it should be out here in, the, in a few weeks. It's already done. So he's just doing the artwork and music video and stuff right now. Um, and it turned out so good. So, so good. So I'm super excited about that. I think that's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, I think you guys are going to love it. So, so yeah, make sure you subscribe to Sam's channel too and click notification bell on those places. Cause uh, what do I do with a broken heart? It's going to be amazing. Yeah. And do you still have, um, a dream, um, artist that you wanted to collaborate with in the Philippines? Um, well, I've performed live with Rico Blanco once. Mm -hmm. He's probably my favorite artist in the Philippines. Um, yeah, we performed live together once, but I'd love to like write a song and record a song with him. That would be amazing. I think he'd probably be number one. Yeah, I think he'd probably be number one. Sorry, I'm still yawning. That's so I'm trying to do these songs. It's so hard. To, it's so hard to sing. Like after, I don't usually make excuses for for my singing, but let like when you first wake up, like the first you know half hour or so, you wake up. It's really hard to sing. It's just hard. Yeah. Your voice doesn't like quite close. Hey, I'll play you mm -hmm. if you want to hear a little bit of the what do what do I do with a broken heart? I'll play a little bit of it. Yeah, for sure. You. Yeah, Won't sure. You? Okay, yep. I'll do my best. Okay. Mm. All right, see if I can pull this off. Trust me, it's going to be way better when Sam does it. The rain on the roof keeps on pounding But why should I worry? Why should I care? I fixed that leak once before I've got friends that would help me if I need them here But tell me what do I do If I can't get over you What do I do with a broken heart Run out of gas on this highway My two legs will take me where I need to go In the middle of nowhere I still know Where I should be running There's peace on the road But tell me what do I do If I can't get over you what do I do with a broken heart? Gonna pay it no mind If only that work fast So work fast Someone else who would take all my hurt Oh, but that doesn't seem like it Make all the blues go away Sorry, I totally screwed up the chorus uh, or, or bridge. But tell me what do I do if I can't get over you? Tell me what do I do if I can't get over you? Oh, what do I do with a broken what do I do with my broken? Oh, what do we do with a broken heart? Sorry, I totally can't sing that in the morning. <laughs> the high part that was about to go. That's okay. Um, it goes, and then I'm the... sharing that song to us, um, David. And we hope that we can hear more of your songs in your YouTube channel and um, your Facebook as well. And um, you said like that that song will send me. Um, We'll yeah, uh, Sam, Sam Mungobat recorded it and it's going to be out, um, yeah, in a couple of weeks recorded by him. So, and very well vocally performed by him. But yeah, sorry, my voice is not quite closing up this morning in it's a couple okay. of these no high parts. Yeah, it's, it's early morning <laughs> in, Philippines, in, in the in US, so yeah. it's understandable. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, David. Um, do, do you have any message to the frontliners out there who's listening right now or watching right now? Oh, yeah. Just thank you so much for everything you guys do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, it, yesterday I was, it, day before yesterday, I actually, 
I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was the sickest that I've ever been or like felt my body felt the worst that it had ever felt like I had this migraine, I was nauseous. It only lasted for like three or four hours, but it was the worst I've ever physically felt in my life. I, and um, yeah, it just it made me realize how how bad you can feel while you're alive. And, um, you know, having somebody there to comfort you and to take care of you when you feel that bad is just completely priceless. And so um, thank you so much to all of, of you nurses and frontliners who are like comforting and helping people that are in, you know, that time because, yeah, it's almost impossible to to like imagine until you feel like you want to die, <laughs> how bad you can really feel. And, uh, and so, yeah, thank you so much for that. I, you know, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much, David. And I hope you're feeling better now. And uh, thank I, I you am. for your yeah, thank time. You. Thank you for your time, even though it's early morning in, in uh, the U S and hope oh, we'll pleasure. have you again some other time, especially we're doing this singing sensation. I hope you'll be one of our guests for our live battle. Sure. I'd love to. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, st um, stay safe there in um in US, David, and we hope that um we'll meet you in person in the future. Okay, same here. See you later, Ella. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. So that's it, guys. Um, this is um we had actually um nearly two hours of let's talk with Ella Hidalgo, COVID Warriors Quarter. I'm actually live here in Bournemouth, which which is two hours away from from London. Yes. So um, thank you so much for staying with us. Um, I can see names like Christopher Callis, Johnny Suarez, our um admins is watching right now. My dad Leon Hidalgo and my family in La Union. Thank you so much for your support. And please do follow me, of course, in my um my YouTube channel, Ella Hidalgo TV. My um, facebook and of course my ig and i'm also in session live guys so please do follow me in session and um of course um do follow do um abangan nyo po guys ang um, singing sensation ng covid warriors corner palabas na po siya malapit na malapit na so and also would like to say thank you sa mga mga sa mga contestants po natin we have actually um 70 entries um so maraming maraming salamat for um of course for for trusting COVID Wars Corner in joining this um competition and ang mananalo po guys ay magkakamit ng 50,000 pesos in cash and of course we have two nights stay and three days um in a luxury resort in the Philippines and um a training from um international coach Renate Hebron at saka meron po tayong mga um, celebrity shout out from a mystery um celebrity. So maraming maraming salamat. And um I want to sing a song. <laughs> Kasi lang wala na akong V8 guys. So um I don't know why my V8 is not working here in Facebook anymore. But I'm going to sing a song. Um I've I've sung this before but um I'm going to sing um Ayan, ay de, mali, mali. Um, nasaan na yun? Ayan, so patuloy niyo pong suportahan ng aming COVID Warriors Corner dito lamang po sa Facebook. Ayan, so this is song is for everyone. I hope that you can hear it guys kahit na wala na ako V8. <laughs> so, ayan. Please do continue to support Kobe Warriors Corner with our shows. Request with um, Catherine Alberto, Dear Joker D by Brandy Silveri. Let's talk with Chef Mikael at 5 o'clock this afternoon. And of course, let's talk with Ala Hidalga and the singing sensation to be out. I don't have a microphone and I don't know if you can hear this music, but this is for everyone, guys. You give me hope. The strength, the will to keep on You're all one else can make me feel this way And only you can bring out all the best I can do I believe to turn the tide And make me feel real good inside you push me up when I'm about to give up. 
You're on my side when no one seems to listen. And if you go, you know the tears can't help but show. You'll break this heart and tear it apart. Then suddenly the madness starts. It's your smile, your face, your lips that I miss. The sweet little eyes that stare at me and make me say, I'm with you through all the way, cause it's you who feels the emptiness in me. It changes everything you see when I know I've got you with me. So difficult without Mike. <laughs> And of course, I'm in a hotel. I don't want to bother the other residents in here. You push me up when I'm about to give up. You're on my side when no one seems to listen. And if you go, you know the tears can't help but show. You'll break his heart and tear it apart. And suddenly the madness starts. It's your smile, your face, your lips that I miss. The sweet little eyes that stare with me and make me say, I'm with you to all the way, cause it's you who feels the emptiness in me. It changes everything you see, when I know I've got you with me. Thank you guys to my family and my friends who's always supporting me. And of course, COVID Warriors Corner, sa lahat po ng mga members. Thank you for supporting us. The sweet little eyes that stare at me and make me say, I'm with you to all the way, cause it's you who feels the emptiness in me. Changes everything you see when I know I've got you with me. Thank you so much and God bless everyone. Please do stay safe, wear your mask in public um, places, wash your hands, social distancing, and of course, pray God. Pray, pray, pray to God that um, everything will be okay, that the pandemic will soon be over. Please do support, continue to support COVID Warriors Corner, and God bless everyone. Have a great week ahead of us. Bye.